I'm the one who killed her. Anyways, hey everybody, welcome to the Lo-Fi Podcast. I'm Caleb Young. I'm your host again today for now. Uh, we're here today with us is... Oh, I'm saying my own name. Frank. Frank Cantu. <laughs> with... Don't say last name. Cantu. No, don't say last name. <laughs> Everyone knows who we are. If they want to look us up online, they need to know our first and last names. Yeah, I Yes. PewDiePie, that's his full full name, okay? You gotta use the full name. It's a certain uh, amount of uh, amount of naivety that we need to... We Never just, mind. We'll just bleep those out. Go. We'll bleep them out, like Rick said. Rick Contu. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit! You can, like, read your lips now. <laughs> well, you just put a little something over me. Boop, yeah, yeah, boop. Right. Put the little nude fucking pixels. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Well, uh, anyways, how are you, gentlemen? Uh, good, man. We uh, we just had some Popeye's chicken today. Oh, it's right. did you have the sandwich? Yes, we did. did. Oh, yeah. how Popeye's was it? Popeye's chicken sandwich. Um, okay, so I like I like Chick Fil A. Of course. I think I'm still liking it better than Popeye's. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Seems to be an unpopular opinion. I like it. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Rick? I'm in agreement. I I I, I prefer the Chick Fil A, but the Popeye's is really fucking good. Yeah. Really yeah. good. I, I don't doubt it. But it's I good. prefer Chick fil A. That's yeah. just me. Because Chick fil A is always going to be Chick fil A. It's their own little signature. Plus it comes with the lemonade. And the it's, lemonade it, it, it's, good. it's a whole package. They got the Everyone's herb, so herbs and nice spices. there. They're just nice, like, employees, you know? That's yeah, yeah. It. But I think overall, like, I, don't, I didn't like the pickles either. Maybe that's what, like, I didn't mind the colored my, my uh, opinion of it. Because they're not regular pickles. They're mean? like fucking dill pickles or what are those? Um, ah, the the yes. whiter looking ones. Yeah. I forget what they're called. Um, I'm I like more kosher, right? I I'm not yeah. a pickle aficionado, but I know those are not like regular ass pickles. Those are like <laughs> fucking butter I butter. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> I didn't mind the pickles. Yeah, I and think they were uh, right. and maybe so I probably need to try it again without the pickle because maybe I could still tr- fucking taste you think it. Tr- they try too much on the pickles. Uh, yeah, they're trying too hard. Trying too hard trying on too the pickles. Hard, bro. You know what else I had today? What? I had uh, Sam's Pizza for the first time in a long time. What? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. How was that? It's better than Costco pizza. Really? How was yeah. that? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's in the flavor, man. Um, see, uh, I've obviously at work have the opportunity to have Costco pizza all the time, and it's it's not that great. Yeah. I think I was I was done with that pizza the first week. Yeah. Um, but I will I will time and time again I'll go back to for Sam's Pizza. Sam's really? Pizza is really, yeah, it's really good. good Interesting. This mm-hmm. is stuff I didn't know. Hey, man. It's pretty good. Uh, I can you see try you, it. I, I, maybe. Do you need a membership to go in? You do. Yeah, you do. Uh, well, no. not into the food oh, court. Oh, not to the food court. Yeah. Oh. You can yeah, just it's, it's like go to the food court. You can just go in the food oh, court. Okay. Uh, no, Costco, they, well, at least they try to They try to stop say, people. Yeah, you can't go to food court without. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah no. Well, I guess. Sorry. I just don't like, I don't like most people. who Left my mark. Left my mark today. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Some cardboard and I threw it on the floor, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Pick that up, Sam's." <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you know, as long as you, you did support them, but you're like at the same time, I still gotta bring them down. You still know? Gotta rep, yeah, still yeah, yeah. Rep the cost. yeah, yeah. You, so you, you just, you know, there's, there's, a, there's got to be a balance. So yeah. we went to the back, and he was. Oh, nice. <laughs> a big old C. <laughs> a big old red C. <laughs> 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 red C. Yeah. You, I like it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, if that's it for now, guys, I got some headlines. Headlines. Uh, so this, these headlines are going to seem really old. Well, that's because when we recorded last week, uh, news was coming out as we were recording and yes, even sir. as we finished. So... Sorry for the late news on this. You know what? In, in our defense, uh, some of it was coming out like even days after still. Yeah. Like just all the stuff was still after, coming, yeah. kind of coming right. out it after It was still that. coming out. You know, you, so, you, you know. go initially and it's still kind of coming out. So this is, this is book ending. This is everything you need to know about the rest of D23. Disney's, you need to know, uh, want to hear our thoughts on, all that kind of stuff, more a, or less. I have a question. Why do they call it 23? D23? Uh, it's the 23rd year. 
Oh, so no, they, they it's not okay. True. I that's how many <laughs> souls they've taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say D twenty three. I have no collected, idea. Right? Uh, I just know it's their big convention. I don't know why it's called D twenty three. Yeah. Sorry, that's my job, but I don't know. I don't know who's <laughs> gonna ask me that question. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> don't blame He's, me, viewer. Caleb, you want to make a good DM? I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I, I know, I know that, but I just I didn't think I was gonna get asked that today. No one asked me that question before in my You're life. Supposed to prepare for this. <laughs> I don't know what D twenty three means. What's behind that door? <laughs> Is it a goblin? Oh, Do I have uh, the key? Uh, <laughs> Where's the key? Uh, Answers! I need to know! There's a hidden door! I'm running for initiative! It's a hidden door! It's a hidden door! I'm, I'm uh, running for initiative! Uh, uh, that means wrong. you win? Uh, I know. <laughs> All wrong. Uh, All wrong. <laughs> All right, so a lot of this is Disney Plus News. Hey -o, hey -o. Disney Plus News. All right, so this first one. I'm going to kind of just go over some stuff. Okay. So there's a Black Widow poster. There's a WandaVision poster. What would you guys think? Which one do you like better? Which one do you care about? Let's uh, care about. I didn't see the Black Widow poster. What? Wow. I saw a, a video clip from Black Widow. You pull it out? Uh, yeah, go for it. Whip oh, it whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. That's the one with Taskmaster on it. Yeah. I did see that. Sorry. It's like, how did you not see You sent wait, it. Not, not what, what it's it's got on it's on, he's in the top. It's you can see him on the top. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was the, the, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Never mind. I see it. Yeah. Um. Okay. That so one. I like that one. The, I, you know what? <laughs> it got me a, a tiny bit more interested in the uh, Wandavision stuff. Um, oh, be, the poster. Yeah, because I, I, obviously, if you saw the poster or if you're whatever saw an article about it, more than likely they pointed out what's so significant about that poster, at least, and and you know, because seemingly it's uh, Scarlet Witch and and Vision on a couch in like a fifties. Style kind of sitcom, yeah, sitcom almost. Which I think is look. hilarious because that's what you. That's what you were was. saying. Like, what's gonna be a, a sitcom or whatever? <laughs> and I was like, this is for Rick. Yeah, yeah. They y'all heard us. <laughs> it's a multi and y'all delivered. Fucking sitcom. God damn it. I would actually really love it if half of the I show was like that. I had this power. <laughs> yeah, that'd, be that'd be great. Uh, but the the big thing about it is that you can see Wanda's shadow in the back and yeah, visions. Yeah. But Wanda's got her like like Old original school, like man. headset or headdress or whatever. Um, so I think what that's maybe alluding to is her, her alternate reality powers coming through and maybe because it's like 50 style, right? Or whatever. What if she's, what if, Dude, what daddy. if she's, yeah. What if she's creating that scene, you know, in, in her own reality and stuff like that. Right. That'd be crazy, but I doubt that they go that route. Well, so the cool. one thing that, that we do know that is official is that this show is going to kind of tie into Dr. Strange and the multiverse. Oh, oh, that's the only thing I was going to say. What was that? Because fucking Vision's dead, right? Yeah. So yeah. here he is in WandaVision. Yeah. So either they rebuilt him, or this isn't fucking and Scarlet Witch's, like, alternate reality. Or, third option, this is entirely new reality. Yeah. Multiverse. It could be True. a okay. yeah, yeah. verse where yes, they're... Yes, if it ties into that stuff. Yeah, so... I bet you... I bet you the whole multiverse thing of madness, I bet you that's her going crazy with her universes, and Doctor Strange there helping her through it. Not necessarily Doctor Strange opening some portal into some multiverse i think because in comics she's the one who is able to create these alternate realities and and kind of pull them in what yeah. if she were to like do the fucking reverse house of m and like she's the reason mutants come out i mean that, yeah that'd be fucking cool that'd be cool. right i mean it, that's got to be how they maybe start introducing the X-Men and stuff like that maybe, I think or Fantastic that, that's Four. That's going to introduce a lot of stuff. If they want to do Fantastic it for X-Men, yeah. if they want to do it like Sans origin story, you know, maybe that's how they bring them in because I don't know, do you think there's like origin story fatigue by now of like oh every I new think property is going to have a new yeah. origin story? Well, well, no, I think there there has it's been talked about for a little bit how uh, people have been like, oh, a little origin story fatigue. And whenever a new origin story comes up, people are like, oh, hey, this one's actually pretty good. I was, didn't mind the whole origin. Yeah. Uh, but, like, you know, we, there was one comment where I was like, oh, it was cool they mixed it up in Captain Marvel, but at the same time, it really wasn't an or origin story, and it was it was not a good way to do it. Because yeah. we were like, like I don't know who she is, and I still don't know who she is, but in that movie. Yeah. I don't know how she feels. I don't know. She like, I don't know. She's weird. Yeah. I don't like well, I mean, it, it, it just, like... It's the eternal struggle, right? It's like, how do you introduce this new character, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in a, without going a different the same fashion? Beats. Yeah, exactly. Without trying to follow what you've done before already with them or whatever. You know, that's, I mean, I don't know how the hell you do it. It's difficult. 
Yeah. I'm fine with origin story stuff, but I do get how every, you know I mean, every I new like character. I like origin story stuff sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm mean, saying. Like, I, mean, like I don't you, mind. You it. look at fucking Shazam. I mean, that origin story that was fun. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. yeah it was, like yeah, it, it can fine. be done good, and mm-hmm. but then you look at like fucking. I mean, I don't know how many Spider Mans and Batmans. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if anything, it gets you excited for what's what's to come. Yeah, people anything. have the kind of the same complaints about uh, music biography, like you know, like the music. Whatever you know, where it's like the singer rise to fame, get into drugs, get, go to their deep spot, and then they come back up in the end. Like it's mm-hmm. a very common thing in every music biography. It's you know, you have Ray, Walk the Line, even the recent ones, Rocket Man and uh, Queen. Yeah. they follow follow that same kind yes. of beat where there's yes, like they, a, they rise to fame, get to the high point, get to the really low point, and they mm-hmm. kind of end on a high note. Yeah, yeah. As long as you hit um, on the controversies that happen with them or whatever, it's yeah. like. The recipe's done. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of a, actually another complaint that's been going around with the music docs biographies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so and it's interesting. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing. So series that we're getting, also staying with Marvel, is we're getting a Miss Marvel, a She-Hulk, and Dude, a she Moon Knight. Hulk. Which nice. one gets you most excited? Moon Knight. Yeah, I think Moon, Moon Knight stuff's going to be Moon pretty Knight, cool, Dude. actually. Moon Knight's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, no, you tell us about Moon Knight from what you know. Uh, Moon Knight is a schizophrenic, um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I know. like, billionaire? I thought he was like a war person. No, he's got money, though. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. got like a fuck ton of money. And uh, he's like a... Um... Oh, fuck. Like a Holy Crusader guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I'm trying to remember. While you're thinking, I don't know much about Moon Knight, to be honest, I know he doesn't go to space. <laughs> <laughs> that I know, yeah. But I, I everyone I know who I everyone I know who talks about Moon Knight loves Moon Knight, and that's something that's been kind of in the back that people have been wanting for a long time. Mm-hmm. So that sounds cool. I'm really excited. He looks cool. That's that's you know, yeah. I judge in that book off its cover. He looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she Hulk. That sounds fun. Cool. I guess. I, I mean, know. Again, another character I don't know nothing fun about because the whole lawyer aspect could be played pretty cool. Yeah, I could see if it's like a lawyer show, like could a could be like order. a better Jessica Jones. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Uh, or like a Daredevil, like a like Daredevil's good, right? And that had lawyer stuff uh, in it. I mean, I guess. Yeah, he's a lawyer, so yeah. Yeah. I would or, say more would... happy Daredevil. Yeah, hey, is it going to be a show, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah. Have they haven't yeah, yeah. said who's playing She Hulk, right? Nothing. No, nothing on all three of the characters, even Miss okay. Marvel. Uh, yeah, you think they keep her origin story? Who? She Hulk's. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to fit it in. What was the origin the, for her? She is uh, Bruce Banner's cousin, and she had gotten shot at court, and they needed a blood transfusion. Banner was the only, like, blood match, but, you know, his gamma blood then turns her into shield. Oh. I don't see why they couldn't, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure if they're like, hey, hey, uh, Mark Ruffalo, you want to do, like, a 10-second cameo? And he's like, sure. I mean, even though he's kind of officially done, I think, uh, I think he, I don't think he would mind a 10-second something, minute cameo yeah yeah i bet i bet he comes out but i don't know if they do it the exact same way i mean they could yeah. there's nothing wrong with that i don't see why not uh but yeah so those are the marvel shows also we officially because it was he was in talks but it's officially obi-wan series you mcgregor oh yes coming out yes. Uh, it's also confirmed that it takes place eight years after revenge of the sith okay eight years after revenge of the sith. yeah so Luke has it been eight years since revenge of the sith <laughs> how long has it been uh, it's been like ten or fifteen, like fifteen okay. years. Okay. So, uh, so, you, well, so they didn't we, show any images of him, the way he looks or anything like that. No, right? no, they no, just no. said they just confirmed. Yeah, it's confirmed. He's gonna be Obi Wan's it. gonna be shooting next year. Uh, I, I mean, I'm assuming he's gonna be like hopping all over the place, right? It's not all gonna take place on Tatooine. S- assuming so, uh, I think a, a popular theory is that he's gonna fight Vader again, because. Mm-hmm. Um, because cause there's that thing where it's like uh, Vader says to him, uh, last time we met, you were still the master and I was still the young one. Or something something to that effect. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't specify where that was, right? Or right, when that right, was. Right. That was uh, New Hope. Yeah, no, that was then. But he, that scenario he, that, that he's talking about, talking about. That line you're talking about. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. He's like, I was still the, mm-hmm. the learner and you were still the master or whatever. So it's... So Could they be. could still fight and still. I mean, I guess. Like but he that's fight. kind of where he got his legs chopped off. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, yeah, yeah that no, it been. still could go yeah, there too. But, but if you wanna, if you wanna cheese it, I guess you yeah, could, you could be like, oh, we meant it was this another one. time. Yeah, uh, he got his head chopped off now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but so uh, yeah, that sounds like it could be a fun show. That's <laughs> that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. Do you think they bring back um, uh, Maul? Mm, well, with the spider legs. <sighs> Because yeah, it's canon. Know. It's, it's canon. It's canon. I don't... Maybe. Maybe that's who he fights instead. I don't know. I mean, to see him as a villain on there, that'd be cool. And that'd be cool. Guy, because they, cause they be tease fun. him in that'd Solo. Cool. What's his name? Something Parker. Park. Ray, Ray Parker. Parker. Ray Parker. Mm-hmm. Uh, they tease him in Solo. And I don't think they're going to make a Solo 2 anytime soon. <laughs> so yeah. maybe they'll like, hey, we're still going to do that type of thing. So <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Did you see Solo? No. <laughs> They tease him at the end. I heard it was yeah, terrible. Yeah. Though. I mean, oh, do they? Me. Spoilers. <laughs> well, he's in a hologram, and he and then you see that it's Darth Maul, and then he turns on his lightsaber like for no reason. You're like, I get it. It's Darth Maul. He's a Sith. Like, yeah. why? <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought you both hadn't seen Solo. I've seen That's Solo. Solo. Okay. It's on Netflix. Yeah. I saw it in theaters with like five other people. True story. Those five people in that theater. I'm just theater. ready to kind of groan yeah. through it. I thought you meant like as a party. No, no, it was only five of them. What's so weird about that? Right? Yeah, you got friends. Okay, I get it. (laughs) (laughs) Social life. (laughs) Uh, So the big kind of thing that was we were all all wondering about more or less is that Disney Plus will be releasing their episodes weekly. Okay, so this is a thing. Initially, I was upset about this, Uh and then when. I heard your point, and I was like, that makes a lot more sense. And I like it. Yeah. Why don't you explain his point? What was no, it? No, no, no. He should explain it. Okay. No, no, no. Why don't you explain his Oh, I'll, I'll explain no. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so here is my thing. Uh, I think it's good for both parties, obviously Disney+, Plus, so that they you know, can have people subscribe to their thing at least two months, right? Yeah. Uh, so obviously, yes, money. But I mean, that's the only shitty part. Yeah, no, totally. But also, I think it's good in the sense of like, like Stranger Things, right? That thing was popular for a solid two weeks all over Facebook and Instagram, and now nobody talks about it. Like right. since the beginning of August, it came out July fourth. By August, like everyone was like kind of done talking about it. Yeah. Right. And uh, I think that's the problem with a lot of the streaming right now with everything. It's just like something comes out. Oh, cool. The boys, like, it's, I don't even want to do a review anymore because it's like, well, no one's talking about it anymore. And yeah. if everyone saw the reviews, they already saw the reviews they wanted to see, and then, like, it's over, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, even though I don't, I don't mind still doing a review, I'm just saying. It's, it, things come and go really quickly now. Yeah, like, they, they come do. and go really quickly. And even, like, it, someone brought up the point where it's like, oh, well, you can spread it out if you wanted to. Like, you can, you know, see the episodes, you know, however you want to watch it. And that's true, but like again, going back to Stranger Things, it was like within a week that never ending story. Yeah, that never ending story scene came out, so I already knew uh, what's his name really had a girlfriend, mm-hmm. and I never fully watched the video because I'm like, well, I'm not done with the show yet. But it kept popping up my feed, and I would see mm-hmm. like five seconds of it, and so like I know that scene happens, and so when it came, I was like, oh, okay, okay yeah, yeah this, is, this is a scene I saw online already. You know, yeah. not that I wanted to see it, but it was just always there. Yeah, it's hard to. Um, so that's the problem it. I have with. The, st- the streaming at the moment, releasing everything at once, is that people it, at, are at different places all the time, yes. and it's no one's on. Game of Thrones, people talked about it weekly. Even the last, excluding the last season, any season for, for the past eight years, Game of Thrones was talked about for a full two months. I was still buying merch for Game of Thrones before the last episode because I'm like, oh, I still want Game of Thrones stuff because it's still in my subconscious. I still yeah, want to talk about, about it. You can still it. you can talk about an episode like for a while. Like, oh, I really like this scene. It's there's just more to talk about than mm-hmm. just like if we go if you review a whole show like oh, I like this and this and this and that's it. And like, but there's so much more to a show than just those five scenes that you liked, you know. Yeah. So I liked the the fact that I'm gonna see an episode one week. We'll be able to talk about it for a whole week more or less and then the next episode and it's just in, it's in the the subconscious longer the the uh, what's it called the zeitgeist zeitgeist longer yeah. so that's hey, my long uh, 
answer of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I agree with you, man. Uh, I I feel as someone who also doesn't have time to just fucking binge watch an entire fucking season or something in yeah. a week. I don't have that kind of time. I don't always have those opportunities and stuff like that. So for me, at least, like it gives me time to catch up. Like, cool. Like I got this like in the chamber. I need sometime this week. I need to watch this episode. I want to. You know, it's like one of those like you want to have one of those water cooler moments with like coworkers or friends or whatever. Yeah. You know, where you guys are just talking about, oh, dude, did you see, you know, find, did you see what happened yesterday or whatever. Yeah. And and you know, you're able to talk about it and stuff. Whereas like, I feel like if if someone binged it and you didn't, you guys can't talk about it. Yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. you know, and by by the time you get around to it, it's old news. They they've you know like the conversation is not forgotten about it. Yeah, too. they've pro- probably forgotten about it. Like the conversation isn't what it could have been in that moment. You know, yes, like, oh, totally. Like, you can't be on the same page and stuff. Yeah. So I get all that, and I understand that. But as okay, but say I have no friends. <laughs> okay. Say I don't really talk to anybody, mm-hmm. and I'm looking at this as a package, and these are coming out weekly. Now for my monthly subscription, I'm being capped at. X amount of episodes a week that I can watch from every show that they're showing or whatever Mm -hmm. instead of having a big library that I can browse through and then choose to watch what I want to watch I can binge watch that then I can binge watch this then I can watch this you know giving me all those options instead I'm like oh well I gotta wait a fucking week but I'm paying fucking money so that I can be watching this shit so as a you know Consumer, I also see the downside still. Well, well, fuck, what am I really getting for my money? You're getting then, uh, a whole library of, of stuff. Like, let's say if we're talking right. about Disney in particular in, in this case, right? But for like, all these cool new shows and shit, I only get to watch. And I understand that, yeah. right? Where, you know, you get to talk about it and everything. But what if I don't really talk to anybody? Mm-hmm. And I just want to watch shows. But that's, and that's one way to look at it. But I mean. Right. I know but that's the have, minority. That's like a super. I would say yeah. if you don't have friends, like. <laughs> to a to, to a degree, like that's a yeah. super minority. You don't have well, two or right. three people to talk to or whatever. And even then, like I get that that's one way to look at it. It's like I'm capped of episodes I can watch. But if that's your but, concern, okay. So look at it money wise though. Yeah. Like, it is it scummy for them to do that? I don't think no. so. Eth- ethically, or, or or I think that's the well, way. That's the thing a too. Lot of network Cause, shows cause all these even other, started out. All these out. other companies are coming yeah. out with the you know. The, we're, we're showing everything up front, right? Wow. Or is it just Netflix that's doing that? Um, does Amazon do that? Or does Amazon do episodes too? The, Amazon does a weird thing where like, I think the boys are released the whole season, but like for the tick, they released like the first half of it. And then eventually the second half, they did something weird. Oh, that's weird. right. They were doing where it's like the first three episodes would come out, and then after that, it's going to be like weekly episodes. Yeah, something weird. that Hulu like that. that would do that? Yeah, I think Hulu would do that, but even Amazon had something weird to that effect. But like now I think they're releasing whole seasons or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for your money, that whole, the you know it coming out all at once is probably better. Well, but. and that's the thing too. It's like it's kind of like subscribing to like an HBO or a Showtime, mm-hmm. right? And the only reason I bring this up is because when you're choosing which fucking things am I going to subscribe to? Am I subscribing to Disney and Hulu and Netflix? But if I can only do like two, which ones am I going to pick? The ones that give me probably the most content for my money, right? Or well, the best content, one might say, quality over quantity. Right, or one that has a little bit of both. But that's the thing for me is like I'm kind of sick of of Netflix. I'm sick of scrolling for hours. I'm like, okay, I didn't watch anything. Like, I'm but just, that's like, you personally. No, true, but okay, you don't scroll for like thirty minutes. I do. I scroll for thirty minutes. I take one I episode do, but of a just show because I've seen almost everything. On there. <laughs> well, because I watch like, a lot of shit. For for me, it's just I need to be in a certain mood, and I'm like, what fits this? And yeah, then like this. Like, I mean, I do. I mean, but that's why they have like every month they switch shit out. Yeah, but that's the thing too. It's like, I don't know. It's like sometimes I just want to sit down and watch something, just a quick something, right? And then I have this thing in my head where I'm like, I could watch this, or I could watch this, or heard this is better, but this is really good. Am I move for this, or am I move for this? And like, yeah, it's kind of my problem. But I feel like a lot of people go through that. It's like, well, I could do this or this, or I'm in the mood for that, or I'm in the mood for that. And it's like all these little factors you keep factoring to finally narrow down to the one thing you're gonna watch. Um, again, that's just. I know it's me. I'm sure other people feel the same way. So, okay, so here's an example. Um, how many episodes are going to be out for The Mandalorian? One, starting November 12th. But, like, how many have oh, they how many said? Total? How many oh, uh, episodes are coming out I in think, that season? I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like eight. Eight, okay. So let's say this was, like, Supernatural, 
right? Where they have like 20 fucking two episodes or some shit in a season. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Now, having one of those a week would suck because it would be, what, 22 weeks for me to fucking wait? So for my subscription money, I'd have to, in order to see that show all the way, I'd either have to wait for that to come out fully and then do it so that I can watch it Mm -hmm. or... If I wanted to watch it live as it's coming out, I'd have to be paying that subscription for 22 weeks. And that's the thing, too. If that's if that's your concern, too, then it's like, well, then just wait a year and then subscribe to it so well, you right. can see the whole show of something mm-hmm. and the whole show of something else. It, like, but that's why I was kind of comparing to HBO. It's like, if you're in it for Westworld and Game of Thrones or whatever, like, you're paying, like, I guarantee you most people paid for Game of Thrones in April or paid... <laughs> Paid for HBO, HBO in April just for Game of Thrones. Right. They yeah, had all yeah, the other yeah, stuff totally. they could choose of, but they're just paying just for Game of Thrones. Yeah. Right? Same thing with CBS All Access. People are paying just for Star Trek. Like, they're not paying for it for Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> uh, Twilight's got a show? <laughs> Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. Yes. Okay. I was like, I know Twilight that was right and wrong. Uh, Twilight Zone. Oh, I need to watch the new one. So, uh, see, you're doing yeah, it right now. You're doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. like, people are, that's what people are doing. They're subscribing just for the show that they want to see. And I feel like for me and Disney Plus, like, uh, right. I know what I want and I, <clears throat> and I know I can only watch so much too, right? Like, I'm right. not going to be able to be like, well, I want to watch, I'm going to be able to watch five shows this week. I don't have that time. So, for me, I'm fine with just paying for something that I know I'll only be watching so much of. Mm-hmm. Um, that's just me. It's like paying for Game of Thrones, but for a lot less. <laughs> Seven bucks. I mean, if you got the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven bucks. I got the money for seven bucks. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying, right? I mean, if you're picking and choosing, right, your you're, you're different ones, but yet you want to see. See, like, I want to see the fucking Twilight Zone and all that shit, but I, I'm not going to fucking well, pay for the CBS. Thing. Yeah, so that's how, like, some of them are just like, I'm not going to ever watch it. Like, yeah. the CBS stuff, shame. I'm not going to watch any of that stuff. It, it's a shame. No, totally. I totally agree. And, like, uh, probably Hulu, there's only so much I watch on Hulu, and I'll probably, well, I'll have that with the bundle. So, True, I'm probably going to get that, that bundle, so that'd be cool. Uh, but, you know, there's stuff I can live without. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to accept that I'm not going to watch this ever. Yeah. Like, ever. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm interested in, in, again, like, just being able to consume that on a weekly basis uh, so that I have time to catch up. But, like, on top of that, that's the way we used to watch TV back yeah. then. You yeah. know what I mean? And I yeah. felt there was nothing wrong with I mean, that. Like, yeah, being, no, that's fine with like, me. Like, as, as a person who likes to pinch their pennies pretty mm-hmm. hard, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, what 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 would be better for that person yeah i think at that point if you're paying only for the show uh then i would say wait but i would say well you're also getting like their library of other stuff like if you feel like there's movies on there uh be it disney or not or marvel or whatever that you could be just re-watching showing to uh your, like your family and your kids or whatever or you know uh friends let's say i think if you see the value in that uh, like once you look at the library then you could be like, okay, well, you know what? It's kind of worth it because I have a whole back catalog of all this stuff I can go watch through. So what you're saying is wait it out, do the free trial, binge it, and then just stop. Yeah. If you're really a, pin, a penny pincher, right. then that just do the, it that way. That would be the... Right. Just yeah. do it that way. And then at that point, you would just have to worry about spoilers online. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> so. people, again, like... I want to watch it when it comes out because I want to be able to talk to people about it, you know? Yeah, yeah me and too. And if I get to the point where I'm having to... Now you'll become the person who's having to wait to talk about it because you haven't seen it all by then. People have already forgotten certain scenes or, you know, stuff that happened in certain episodes that, yeah. you know, so I don't know, like... They'll show the Mandalorian fighting Darth Maul, you know, and you'll be like, ah, oh, I yeah. wish you could have saw the show. You know, yeah. Type of thing. Well, I mean, I'm going to watch it because I'm just going to take his thing. <laughs> so that's the other thing too oh, yeah, is like they have, they're a little tight on that now oh. I don't know how I should have read up on more but there's something to the effect where you can't really share as much as you used to uh-huh. like there's only one IP that can watch it at a time what the oh fuck? shit yeah so that way you can't do that sharing thing where it's like if you're watching it he can't put it on and start watching it it's like well per, we have the same IP but yes I understand yeah so uh, yeah so what they're gonna my, be my sister-in-law in Houston who uh, shares my Netflix account uh huh that wouldn't be able to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's they're going to be tight on that where it's like you can't just be sharing 
Because, I mean, they got to make their money in the first months, right? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, whatever. They're They're sure, this, greedy. Uh, sure, whatever. But I understand at the same time. <laughs> you know? I get it, and I get it. I get it, and I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, All right. speaking of Disney, last thing on Disney, did you see the Star Wars featurette trailer thing? Mm, no. With Ray? You didn't see it. No. This guy. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Seen it. Yeah, Star Wars feature it. it with Ray. Well, it's a trailer. It's a small mini trailer. Small mini trailer. It starts off with like. I put a GIF uh, up on the chat. Yeah, did you I see don't it? remember if I did or didn't. With Ray. Re- the, refresh my mind. What happened? Lightsaber. Ray has a fucking red lightsaber. Oh, I did see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, how does that not spark in memory? Just, this, was, this was like a week ago. Again, to do this sorry all. guys. <laughs> a week. See? See? <laughs> See? Why are we doing this fucking video? Everyone's forgotten about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem, you know. See? This is why See? it's good to do things. If they were to release their news once every Friday. They gotta let us know. Miss Marvel this Friday. They gotta tell She-Hulk us first. next Friday. <laughs> yeah, I know. I really. It's because before D23 was like, oh, here's some things about our show, our, our like Disney movies, and here's some like... Marvel stuff, and it was kind of like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But they gave out a lot of news this time. I wasn't expecting yeah. it. it was yeah, so much it was news. like coming out as we were recording. So yeah, that was so, unfortunate. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, the Star Wars trailer, you know, it starts off with like, hey, remember all the things you loved? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. And then, trying to course, manipulate me? Trying to manipulate me? <laughs> my uh, memories? And then, and then they showed the ray with the foldable like lightsaber. Foldable. So, okay. <laughs> that. Okay. You want to talk about that? Tonight? Yeah, let's talk about it a little. Let's talk quick, about it. Real quick. What, what do you think about it? I like it. I think it could be. Uh, there's a lot of things I have in mind. For one, I hope it's not like a major major spoiler, because that would suck. It feels like a major like, oh, this is a third act type thing. For two, uh, could be popular theory is evil twin. Popular theory is. Uh, she wants to go or she does I, the one I doubt is that she does go to the dark side I doubt it uh, so that's what I'm saying right because okay or, you or obviously know the Luke and Vader thing where it's yeah. like a like a dream thing. that's that, that's what I'm that's thinking. the popular or that's the other like that's my more, more than likely thing yeah is that she has to face the darkness which she already kind of did in the last one yeah when she like with the infinite mirror and everything yeah. and all that shit mm-hmm. yeah yeah right so what she would go through it again, but then it's like they're they're showing it to us, yeah, obviously, yeah. So the, it's either they know they're spoiling it, uh-huh. which I highly fucking doubt. Yeah, because J.J. Abrams doesn't do that at all. So like knowing that, you know that's not a fucking spoil. That that yeah. flat out tells you she's not going to the fucking dark side. Yeah, she's that's gonna true. stay flat out away from it because yeah. you're showing it to us. Yeah. So it's either a g- dream sequence More or. Than likely. I mean, he. It really is a spoiler, and that fucking sucks. Yeah, I know, right? That would fucking suck. <laughs> I, th- yeah. I think they would know that that was an actual exactly. spoiler. They, I mean, yeah. So, so what are they like? Are, do they have something up their sleeve? Do they have something hidden up there that's not just a hey guys, this is a dream sequence, or this is just some shit that's not whatever? Yeah, I'm thinking dream sequence is it's the like, most likely scenario. It's almost like like clickbait, right? <laughs> Because you see it and you're like, yeah. oh, yeah. I want to know. But yeah. you can't. Yeah. You can't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, totally. uh, Let me ask you guys a little broader question. Okay. What do you what do you think of this new trilogy so far? I have lots of uh, lots of things about it. Yeah? Like. There's no direction. Like, yes. There's no Kevin Feige. I, there's I nobody agree. steering the ship. It's J.J. Abrams being like, yeah, he hey, look at this really one. cool, look at this really cool concept and movie or whatever, right? start, right? Yeah. Here you go, Ryan Johnson. <laughs> what happens? I don't know. You figure it out. It's like, oh, okay. Or I think the the think it came out that Ryan Johnson was writing it as Fork Away. Anyways, he was like, here you go, Ryan Johnson. Like, what is what is Luke say to Ray? I don't know. You you find out. Okay, I'll write what I think he's gonna say. He's gonna throw the stupid throw lightsaber. Like, lightsaber. Yeah, this is stupid. Like, okay, I waited two years for that moment. I waited yeah. two years for him to be like, yeah. And you're yeah. like, what? Uh, so Ryan Johnson messed it up completely. I, I hate Blast Jedi. So Agreed. Much. Agreed. Because he's just like, I'm gonna do whatever I want. This I know, has nothing. He hates that fucking <laughs> I hate it. He's just <laughs> like, I'll do whatever I want. Let's just go wherever we want. He fucking, I, he, he I'll destroy Han. the last. He killed bit. fucking Han in that movie. I was, I was fine with like, that. I, was cool. I mean, I'm a fine. That was coming. That was coming. That, it, that was coming. Yeah. I think uh, I fine. think but that's saying, the only fucking reason Harrison Ford took that role too. Yeah. I think so too. If he died, he wouldn't come back. Yeah. Yeah. I know. 
Uh, so, but so Ryan, just, Ryan, Ryan Johnson does his own thing where he's like, screw JJ and all his things. I'm just going to do my own thing now. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then now he's like, okay, next director, do whatever. Like, cause it was supposed to, it was like two other it's supposed directors. supposed to be someone else, right? Yeah. yeah. It was Colin Trevorrow at one time and then someone else as well. Um, but, uh, so now back to JJ and he's like, okay, well I got to fix everything that Ryan Johnson fix did. His bullshit that he did. And, be, and the problem, the biggest problem is that there's no direction to where the story was beginning and ending. Like who? Where was this story starting, and where is it ending? Like there's I mean, no end game. Fucking Snoke well, dying. I was gonna like, say it, it had direction. It was leading towards Snoke and all that, but then they just yeah, he's just like mm, so nope. now it has no direction because what the fuck happened to Snoke? Yeah, you know, you know I mean, because it's like if if he's a throwaway nothing, how how do you fix that? Yeah, you, you make it because that, of all the lore you set up in the first one. Or the Force I mean, Awakens. the only thing I can think of is maybe what if Kylo was using Snoke as a like a proxy? No, because Leia. But says, then they show those intimate moments between them, and then Snoke getting after him, and yeah. him getting pissed, and, and shit Leia like that. says she even knows she's like Snoke turned Kylo against himself, or Ty- yeah. turned, Snoke turned Kylo bad, or whatever. And I was like. So she knows him. Like how there was too many questions set okay. up in the Force Awakens that weren't. And then they had the, the the poster, right? The poster also came out with it or whatever, and they have like that silhouette of Palpatine in the back, where it's kind oh, of like. Oh, I don't like that poster too. So I mean, it does look like a fan made so, Boss yeah. Logic poster. Yeah, and I was like, that's so he's like an official so he's poster. back, right? That's I mean, officially. We, we, we kind of got heard that in the, in the laugh. Yeah, but confused <laughs> <laughs> so that's why i don't like this new regime is that there was no there was no clear goal of where this story was going yeah because now it seems like finn and poe and all of them were went where they were supposed to come from the force awakens it's just they're doing more in the resistance they're more heavy leaders like in this third one because in the in uh, last Jedi, finn's still like i don't want to be here anymore i want to leave let's leave and we're like we just we we stopped that in force awakens like, like by the end of Force Awakens, he was like, "Yeah, I'm cool." And then now he's like, "No, let's leave again. Let's leave." I'm like, "Why?" Snoke has to be connected to Palpatine. S- has to be somehow. So the popular theory, this may spoil the is movie. This clone, but, right? Yeah, clone. So clone Ray could be a clone too. Is Palpatine could have multiple clones from whenever he dies, and you know I'm that's why it could. I'm that's why she theories. could be. That's I mean, that was so expanded universe that that happened. Yeah, so that happened expanded. That happened expanded universe. So maybe that's, that's why, why that's she's so so powerful initially without you know having any training. She's just automatically super powerful, um, and then maybe that's why maybe that other ray is a, is another ray, but a bad ray. Who knows? I Who mean, knows? could there have been twins? Twin rays? Yes. But we don't know our parents. And exactly. Ryan Johnson was like, oh, I just filled the yeah, drug Yeah, he never fucking said to our parents. That, uh, that's what I'm saying. So, like, how could you... You got one fucking movie to do it. Yeah. You got one movie. To answer, like, a million questions. To, yes. From to, The Force Awakens. Because the last year <laughs> I decided, Lord, we're doing none of that. <laughs> Knights of Ren? No, thank you. Not even mentioned. And, like, Dude, everything. Captain just like Phasma? Why'd yeah. she come back? Why, I mean... That, she should have just been gone. Any, the, the whole fucking thing could have... Could have done without that character. Yeah. Had they had yeah. her not in the show, I mean, it, I mean, it, it would not, it wouldn't impact it, right? Yeah. Like nothing. She was like, she's character. done nothing. She was like literally. She's Boba done Kirby. nothing. They could have put some fucking grunt asshole <laughs> sergeant in her really, place, that's really and that's true. it. Yeah, that's really true. <laughs> like, what has she brought to the table? She looks so fucking cool. I was yeah. so excited for her. Same. And then, and then, just drop the goddamn ball. They boba fedded her, dude. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, too, they should have when if they brought her back in the Last Jedi, they should have made it better, where she was like all like dismantled, and now she's like this rough. You know, she's like not playing by the rules anymore nope. or something. Like, they could have made her character really cool, but they brought her back as the same character and threw her away just and as then easily she gets last taken time. hostage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Terrible. you brought this up. Yeah, sorry, uh, guys. This is your fault. So <laughs> I asked what your, your overall, overall thoughts, thoughts. Were. I don't like this new regime. <laughs> Force Awakens is fun. I'll give you that. It was, it was I yeah. like Rogue One. But, like, what is, I, I like okay, Rogue so what is this trilogy giving us, though? So far, nothing. You know, like anything new, anything cool and new that it's given us. Well, that's the thing. I want to say yes because, cool. but I don't know that for sure because. BB. But we with, also got that new fucking giant star destroyer thing, right? Like the Star Killer base. Yeah. 
This was a Death Star before. This is the Star Killer base, and they have that automatic like we had, we built this little graphic to show you guys type <laughs> thing. I always like to think of that like, hey, we they actually took time to build yeah, yeah. this graphic. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So they, I mean, they've given us new creatures and stuff, but as far as lore, but anything good? That's what I'm saying. Like oh. any 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 good creatures, any good lore, any good. I think, yeah, I mean, I think I like, Poe is a I like character. Po. I like him a lot. Finn, I was starting to like, but I was like, no, you back down after Last yeah. Jedi. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh, Ray would have, could have been cool. Luke could have been cool. <laughs> Old man Luke. Dude, with the little milk. <laughs> that was such oh a my weird God, scene. Dude. <laughs> such a weird scene. Pumping the milk out of that thing. It's fucking gross. Like, why do we need this? I don't know. I just. Oh, pull. I know. I, I know. Mean, because the, he's, Canto he's Bite. Yoda. Canto Bite. They've given us Canto Bite now. You know that casino planet? Oh, that's right. Such a good, such a good lore. And those little creatures the they freed? Oh man. They're not the Just horses. They're not horses. I have those on my wall now <laughs> because those are my favorite creatures. Okay, I, I I will defend that whole crazy Luke scene only because he's supposed to be like Yoda. Sure. Right. Fine. Where he's supposed to be the crazy old sage who is like this guy's just fucking off his knocker, right? Yeah. And then he gives like the best fucking wisdom because he's the master. Yeah. But he kind of did and kind of didn't. Yeah. He's like, the Jedi suck. Don't listen to them. And she's like, oh, okay. He told her what she needed to hear. Yeah, I guess. God. They got, yes. they got to him. No. Don't listen no. anymore. No, <laughs> not you. You know, Kylo would have been again. Kylo would have been a cool character, yeah. but by the end of Last like, Jedi, like they made him a whiny, yelly person again. He's like, shoot down that ship! He's like yelling. I'm like, why yeah. are you doing yeah. this? Well, I like, mean. I like the oh the force Cause he, cause telekinesis because he's, he's all emotion, right? Yeah, but that's I, just Kylo's character. But he, yeah, that's true. I like the double. I like his lightsaber. I think it's kind of cool. I do too. I, I, I like cross Adam Driver also awesome. in general. So. Yeah, he's Adam cool. Driver is fucking. I'm on awesome. board for Adam Driver. I like his hair. He's I like cool. I like his Kylo dude. I like his square. body. I think body. Kylo's a fucking great <laughs> character. <laughs> The fucking meme. I forgot about that fucking, fucking thing. thing. <laughs> oh so god. So good. Like this. I'm posting him somewhere here right now. There we go. There we go. He's like the guy in Beetlejuice. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, man. Well, so, okay. They gave us Kylo, man. Kylo's fucking cool. It. Yeah. It's Kylo it. and Poe and BB-88. BB-88? It's BB-88. BB-8, sorry. Come on, guys. Come on. Well. I'm good with Kylo. That was fun. I'm glad we talked about that. Uh, last little trailer thing that's popular and deserves to be deserves to talk about is the Joker trailer. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Did you see it? No. <laughs> that one I really didn't watch. Wow. Wow. Well, I was like, I already saw the the last one. Why do I want to watch a new uh, one? Do you want to watch it? Sure. Okay. So, Frank, since. You're the one who hadn't seen it before. What do you think initially? Thoughts, initial thoughts here. Initial thoughts. Uh, I know. I'm still. I'm still excited for it. Oh, okay. Well, you're not. <laughs> 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 yeah, it looks good. Uh, I'm still excited for it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, remember, I uh, said it that one time where I was like, "Oh, that was young Bruce Wayne." Y'all didn't believe me. And it totally was. He's not, it, an, he's, not the tra- he's not in this trailer. He's not in this trailer. Is it official though? Uh, oh, would you? Okay, question. Would you count? <laughs> would you count IMDb as official? No. Uh, not always. Damn. We had this conversation. Yeah, we, we did. Had this conversation. We did. Yeah. For this. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Same no. reason. Yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, no, because they nope. assume okay. a lot, mm-hmm. okay. and it's usually like, okay, yeah, you could probably assume that is, but because the guy that punches him, that's that's supposed to be that's uh, supposed to be his dad. His dad, yes. So I don't know. Uh, what's his name? Don't know until uh, I see it. John Wayne. <laughs> Thomas Wayne. Thomas Wayne. <laughs> John it's the first thing, Wayne. It's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> God damn it! You know, Batman would be so much cooler if his dad was fucking John Wayne, dude. 
Uh, I like the trailer. It's I like that this one's more story driven. Yes. The first time I was like, I don't know what I'm getting into. Yeah, the first one was just like an amalgamation it, of just different. Mysterious. Yeah, it just looks like oh, I like the mood, the setting. Yeah, yeah. And this one gives you the story of what's kind of going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I liked it. It looks cool. I I'm excited. He looks so crazy and he's acting you, so crazy. Do you think that's where it climaxes? Is like him coming out and doing whatever he's gonna do in front of that crowd. Uh, like do you think that's like third act stuff yes right? I think that's third act yeah, stuff probably, yeah. uh, I think but there's gotta be a point where people start following him and start wearing the mask does that happen people well that's what I'm assuming because a lot of no. people are wearing the clown mask no and there's people riding at that little thing he's kind of mm. there he's like yeah like this is kind of what I'm starting oh, okay. or whatever okay. and even in the train when there are all like people yeah, he says with their, people yeah. are starting to take notice of him yeah yeah, yeah. Right. So, so he's getting popular as a clown but how how he takes that initial popular as a clown people are doing we are clown thing yeah i wonder what that turn is i'm curious true, true, yeah because yeah, he's gonna uh, spiral from there yeah he's gonna spiral from there so i'm excited uh Unless he's i like the laugh shit while he's dead. I, you know what i liked about the laugh because like he starts too. off starts it off as like oh this is his joke that. you know cool. i did like that because then he gets real yeah he like, just serious. stops yeah, like yeah. immediately I'm like, I, oh. I, yeah i will admit i did like that about oh, that it was whatever. cool like he's yeah, just so crazy i think i with the so the last he did in the first trailer i was good with that one i liked that it's one. the same one no it's a different one same one but he but he didn't do that thing where you like fucking oh yeah yeah you know like <laughs> like i guess now that i I don't know. Saw the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, that's fine. But I, now that you mentioned, I do like the, the stoic yeah. fucking look afterwards. Like he's just fucking going crazy. Yeah, yeah. I do like that. So yeah, it looks cool. It looks exciting. I'm excited. October can't come soon enough. The only thing I'm getting sick of is like, a Joker is what? How many awards is it gonna win? Blah 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 blah. I'm like, shut up, shut yeah. up. Just see the movie first because we don't know if it's gonna be good. It might suck. Yeah. So I might retract my best Joker laugh. I think I like Troy, I like Troy Baker's. Troy Ew. Baker's over Matt. Mark they're both they're both sick. good, but you're I don't know. sick, man. You know that. <laughs> Troy Baker's is good, but I don't know, it's man. It's not Mark Hamill. Uh, Mark Hamill. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll listen to Joker laughs after this. I want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Live reaction to Joker laughs. Yeah. That's all my news. Live reaction to Joker laughs. That's uh, it. I have no one more. thing. Oh, hold on. Oh, hello. Uh, it was just uh, more TV stuff. Uh, Amazon. I was picking up uh, an Event Horizon TV show. That's right. Event Horizon is that uh, horror movie um, in space. I know. I know of it. Yeah. I know. Of I it. really like that fucking movie, man. Is that movie it? was really it's it. But it's kind of like redo, crazy. right? It's kind of like. I think it's just going to be like same idea where they're in space and then they encounter probably like that portal to hell, and then maybe other ships come or whatever. Or maybe it's drawn out that while they're out there, all this stuff's mm. happening. Mm-hmm. Because it's all psychological shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fucking cool. That, nice. That's going to be cool. Yeah, Definitely yeah. cool. Well, Caleb. Yes, sir. Outs- outside of, uh, you know, being a teach, being a cool teacher now. Cool teacher. Yeah, just watching the boys in the classroom and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finish that, by the way. Did y'all finish it? Yeah, finish uh, it yesterday. Yeah, dude, we're done. Oh, we, are ready to we talk can about talk the about boys. it. Ooh. In a, in a separate episode. Separate episode Stay though. tuned for that episode. Stay it's tuned. coming up after this. <laughs> yes. Uh, besides the boys. Uh, so I started. So there, there's this. So, okay. I'm, I'm watching Full Metal when I can. Right? Okay. okay. I also have to watch Death Note because I introduced it to my wife uh, yeah. like a, a couple months ago. So okay. She's Good, like, let's, dude. let's watch it again. I'm like, okay. Because we didn't finish it. We're like on episode two. Okay. So I'm watching Death Note Love two. Death Note. What episode are you on? Two. <sighs> Ten. Okay. Uh, so you saw the first two episodes and now you're up to 10 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, okay. um, so I have to watch that. So not only including that, oh, I did see, I was about to go on more anime, but I'll, go on a sec- I'll continue in a second. Sidetrack. I did see Dave Chappelle's new new special, Sticks oh, and Stones. Oh, is it good? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? I have not seen it. Really good. Okay. It's really good. Definitely it's like awesome. Super offensive, okay, like good. mega <laughs> offensive. You're like, That's what oh I like. my gosh! In this PC culture that we live now, I'm like, I can't believe he's saying like ninety <laughs> percent of the stuff that he's saying I right mean, now. Man, his his stuff is great. Dude. Yeah, yeah and of course, online there's this really big debate of like PC people are like, this is horrible. Like, this is like not, that, this is <laughs> funny in nineteen. They're like people are like, this is funny in 1996. This isn't funny anymore, type of thing. And mm-hmm. but there's also the other half of the internet who's like. 
it, I love it. It's great, you yeah. know? There's no one's saying uh, what he's saying now or something. Vice was like, skip this special as soon as you can or whatever. And like super, like super uh, crazy. I, but isn't Vice full of SJWs? <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Okay. Yeah, so uh, whatever, Vice. Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, I like it. It's funny. It's offensive. Like, let me just tell you a, 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 a quick quick joke you can do a bit i'm gonna do a bit only because right. i know i can right. say it because his thing he says he's like um because he's talking about the guys who just recently the hbo special about michael jackson how there was two more people that came out uh, oh people. yeah yeah so there was the a neverland sp- ranch stuff no no it's a new one no it's i know a, oh it's a, i'm just i'm oh yeah, I'm yeah. so it's a, there's a new special how these two boys are molested by michael jackson there's a whole it's like a whole four hour thing and there's okay. a bunch of stuff to it right and so, and so now people hate Michael Jackson now, right? All those PCs, Even more SJWs, now. people hate Michael Jackson. And so he was saying, he was like, you know what? Because he's kind of making jokes about it. He's making jokes about it, for one. Yeah. And then two, he's like, even if, they, even if Michael Jackson uh, like, uh, molested, the bo- molested those boys, he's like, I don't really care. It's Michael Jackson. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, that's something like you totally can't say, but you're totally thinking. Like, I was like, yeah, even though he did this, like, even if he really did this, like, well, I just don't to listen to it. Like, I don't care. <laughs> so like this super like really messed up type yeah. of like, you, you, I really wouldn't say out loud, but like, yeah. he's like, he's going there. So cool. be prepared for those kinds of jokes that's yeah. going around. Okay. So, yeah. Can't watch that with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's funny. It's good. That's cool. It's good. I liked it. Uh, so anyways, so anime. We're talking about anime right now. Anime. Death Note. And then, so there's this there's this anime that's always been popping up on my feed here and there. I see Which it one? on Hulu and Which Netflix. One? And it's like, hey, watch this. And I'm like, it looks interesting. The cover does. It's fairy tale. What? Fairy tale. What? I so just I... started watching that today. <laughs> today? That's crazy. Uh, so I clicked on fairy tale, saw the first episode. I liked it. Uh, it was fun. It was fun and funny. It was funny and fun, and all the characters looked nice. Uh, <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> I saw a little, just from that little bit of that first episode. Yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah, so this is taking a turn. <laughs> I, I heard it's very much that a lot of that. Um, uh, I've only seen three episodes so far, so I still have to watch Full Metal. So I'm like going back and forth. Damn, you're like a fucking anime fucking hell right now. I don't <laughs> know. Hell, I just I'm in. I'm in it. I'm in it right now. I'm in heaven. I'm in it right now. You're watching Full Metal. You're watching Death Note. Fucking Fairy Tale. I'm really really awesome. interested on your thoughts on Death Note so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it before. Yeah, you ne- you've never seen it before, series? right? No, I've seen it before. What are oh, your you have. On the I have oh, okay. seen it. What are your thoughts? No, but I've seen it. <laughs> oh no! So it's been a long time since I've seen it. Uh, so I remember it. <laughs> I remember it, and I don't remember it at the same time. Uh, I remember how it ends more or less, but I don't remember how we get there. Okay. I remember really liking it when I saw it back in eighth grade, yeah. <laughs> seventh or eighth grade. Uh, I remember liking it. I read like half the mangas. Uh, oh no, I, that's, that's what I did. I finished it in the manga, and mm. only so much in the series. Okay. Um, but rewatching it, I'm like, man, the show is like so ridiculous. Because <laughs> like I got to an episode where uh, Light and L are in a tennis match. He's like, if I win, he's gonna know I'm Kira because I want to win so hard. But if I don't win, <laughs> he's know I'm gonna try to be Kira that I don't want to try to win. And it's like. Oh my gosh! Like this <laughs> so is so good. It gets a little too ridiculous at times, yeah, yeah. but I still, I'm still enjoying it. Like, yeah, this is still fun. I still enjoy it. But yeah, at times I'm like, okay, we're going a little too much here. It's what was your favorite scene in that? In the what show. I've seen in the whole show? Yeah. Um, what was your favorite part? Again, it's been a lot. I don't remember a lot of the, um, a lot of what happened. Like between Light and L, I remember mm-hmm. who wins, but I don't remember. How we get got there? You don't have like a moment that sticks out to you that no, you really enjoyed. I don't. I really don't. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, nothing I can think of. I can think of my biggest regret of that show, um, which spoilers if you haven't seen Death Note. Um, I remember I wanted L to die the whole time. Really? Until he kills him, I was like, no way, this feels wrong. <laughs> I don't like this Why anymore. Why the fuck would you want L to die? Because I wanted Light to win. He was the best. I wanted Light no. to win. Wanted Light to win. Yeah, that rewatching rewatching the show, I'm like, Light is such a bad guy. Yeah, but when I watched him yes, when I was younger. Yes, that's why I was like, I, I feel like what? when you first like, watched, L was though, fucking like, great. Yeah, when you 
You because first- Sorry, 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 sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, like, you—I mean, you follow him on his journey to to becoming what it, whatever you mm-hmm. know uh, he ends up being at the very end. Uh, especially like when you hear his little crazy kind of like in inward laugh or whatever. He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, he's fucking bad or whatever. But uh, I just remember, like, I. I did not want L to catch him. At least, maybe I didn't want L to die. I just didn't want him caught or whatever. So, in my mind, yeah, L was like the bad guy or whatever. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously, once once he's dead, it just felt super fucking wrong, and it flipped for me. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> I was like, wait, no, this is bad. <laughs> but then uh, also, I think that was also the turning point. I I think I stopped caring about the show after that. Because the second half of that is so weird. I, the second half with the fucking the group, the council of people, uh, I, yeah. I didn't really care. It's for that super shit. weird. I like I why is, after why? L dies. Yeah. It takes I don't know a why. Dip, and then it kind of comes back up towards the end a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. But, but it should have like, ended there. I, yeah, I that's felt what like the show I, was about. Yeah. I felt like I cared less once L passed. I was like, you know yeah. what? I realized how much I actually did like L. You know, especially my rewatch He's of it. Different. I know he's awesome. I love him. Yeah. Well, yeah, rewatching it, I'm like, Light is such a villain, and L's such the good guy. Like, everyone else is a good guy. Light is such a villain. And he knows the whole fucking time. He knows, but L is just, he's a good guy. He's got his hands tied. He won't do the things that Light would do to go, he he won't go that far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To, like, break the law or do shady shit like that. Yeah, yeah. That's why why he loses. That's why it flipped for me. But uh, my favorite fucking scene from there was the part where Light is in the helicopter. He had wiped his own memory, and he had oh, yeah. the death note. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And when he first touches it for the first time, and he regains all his all his memories, memories come back. back, and the fucking camera just pans around. Yeah, you know what? And it's just his fucking eyes and his mouth open. Like, I'm with you on that. All one. of this fucking knowledge just coming back into him, and he's just like. <gasps> And then afterwards, he's just like, he had that other fucking Death Note hidden in his own fucking watch. Yeah. Like, God damn. That's when I was just like, God, this fucking show, dude. So good. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie? The Netflix movie? I could no. not get through it. No. I, I didn't got even start it. like two minutes into it, and I was so fucking pissed, I turned it off. I got through it. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, God. Because one of the main things I hated about it, well, there's lots of things I hated about it. For one, they made it super gory for like one scene, and then they stopped. And I was like, why did you even do it in the first place? It was so weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, um, no, Ryuk, his big thing was like, I just want to see what happens if I just drop this in the world. And Dude, like, that's what I'm pissed having... me the fuck off. They made him, like, push him to do things yeah 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 he was like making him do things i was like yeah. what the fuck yeah you is supposed to be doing this because he's bored yeah it, that was his big thing yeah he's, he's still like later in the I movie later in the movie he starts writing people's names down because he's like really pushing i'm like what is what is this this is weird i don't like this at all like, it was super it's dumb good. and then the girl his uh i forget her name but misa misa yeah I, her name is different in the movie but she's also oh, like God. super in like like way more into it than than light is, and it's like mm, this is weird. I don't like this at all. No, I actually hated the movie. I remember hating it when I saw it. I'm like, yeah. why do they make so many weird changes? Like, I don't care if it's American because I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's yeah, Japanese. Yeah, that, that didn't bother me. I'm like, okay, they're making an, an American adaptation. Oh well, get over it. But they changed a lot of the core things. That's why I hated about it. And this was another thing. Like, um, okay, it might get a little. The whole gender, I mean not gender, the, the, the race swap with, with L. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care either, but the one of the things about L uh-huh. is that he's really malnourished. Yeah. He's pale as fuck yeah, yeah. because he doesn't eat. The only thing he eats is fucking sugar. Yeah. And he's like always perched like a little fucking bird. Oh my gosh. So how are you supposed to, you know, kind of give that off? With, uh, uh, you know, an African American. Yeah. Actor. Like, well, the thing it's I hard hated, to kind of give the. <laughs> the thing I hated about the movie is they're like, oh hey, well, uh, L eats candy, so he's constantly has this bowl of like assorted variety candies. He's like, like, what is this? He's not that into candy. Yeah, yeah. Like he's into sweets. Yeah, he's yes, into sweets, but like he's like, cakes or like, you know, treats yeah. or like. Yeah, and he's always like one by one, yeah. but the, and he's like. Um, 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 just he's like just gorging himself? the candy. I'm like, why is he eating all this candy? Like, that's not the big thing. 
It was the movie's so horrible. Yeah, I feel like the people who are on the lead of those things have no fucking clue why those things were a hit. It's like someone told them, "Hey, this thing's cool. It could could make money." Okay, we'll make it. Yeah. And then we won't ask you anything about it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah. Never gonna watch the actual show or. This is fucking terrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm never gonna watch it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, no. Don't, I, don't ever two watch minutes, it. minutes, man, and I was like, I'm fucking done. The I'm only done. cool thing they did was cast William Dafoe as Ryuk. That's that the only, the only cool. reason that's, it got two minutes. That's the only reason yeah. I was willing to check it out, especially because yep. I thought it was a cool fucking casting. And he even in the trailer, yeah. his voice, I was like, dude, yeah. he yeah. sounds awesome as Ryuk. That he looks awesome. like William Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's even better. <laughs> uh, so yeah, fairy tale. Oh no! <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. It's fun. I have three episodes in. It's fun. I like uh, it. It's I, fun. I, I know someone who said they watched. Um, I think like three seasons in. And Didn't it get canceled? Seasons, really? Or was it three seasons or like it gets thirty canceled. episodes? Does it get canceled? I think I think that was the thing is that it only has like those three seasons. No it's way! Not at the, there's I a lot think, of episodes. I'm though. not sure. I mean, you could be right, but there's a lot of episodes. Unless I heard wrong, it was like twenty or thirty some episodes of what he watched, but he watched a good amount, like oh, more okay. more than you should. Oh. And uh, a personal friend of mine, and he said he did not care for it, did not like it, um, mostly uh, because the it's it's very fan servicey, and like the story stuff doesn't really come through. Hmm. So I don't what know. Do you, oh. Not to rain on you guys' parade. I'm just that's why I had so to check far it. I like I'm, it. I'm I think I know what you're saying. Does this person's yeah. name start with a D? No. Okay. It starts with a J. Mm-hmm. And ends in Aime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but I trust his, his, uh, his stuff. I, I, okay, anime. so knowing that, then I think I know what he's saying. It's going to mm-hmm. be a lot of just boobies and. Yeah, like, a lot of boobies, uh, just a lot of like. Story, jokes but nothing or whatever. that really progresses the actual overarching story. That's yeah, well, I think great. also, I, if I remember, one of his arguments was saying that. Um, <laughs> He okay. He mentioned uh, like characters just like all of a sudden having these fucking powers or or like f- like figuring out a way over to overcome whatever obstacle it was, and for it to not come off like they put in the work or it was just like what like he's just all like like the payoff for what they were doing or whatever. There was no like lead up to it or something like that. Like so they, they just, get like a huge power spike for yes. like nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's okay. what well, I'm saying. curious to see where it goes then. If yeah. it if it starts turning into something I, I mean, don't like, I'll probably stop watching. Because they, they talk about magic, so it, I, I could see where it, maybe if they unlock some sort of new magic, it gives them like great powers. But yeah. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to keep yeah, watching. it's mainly magic and stuff, and it's pretty cool. It's fun. Okay. Uh, full Metal. Uh, there's times where why I kind of feel that where I'm like, okay, like every time they introduce a new like villain, I like that lady, the Phantom. Phantom The Thief? Phantom Thief. Phantom and Thief. She has the gar- the cards and she's yeah, like, Phantom Thief. What the I don't fuck? <laughs> you remember Phantom Thief? She was a <laughs> zipper <laughs> card. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's times where I'm mm. like, oh I guess we're just can do whatever. There's times <laughs> where I'm just I feel that. Like, oh god. <laughs> okay. I can't wait till you start watching. Right <laughs> I can't fucking wait. Yeah, because the show. Through the, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> please finish <laughs> down. I want brotherhood. Please. There, there's a point. You bro. will see, my friend, and you will understand my fucking frustration with this asshole. Okay. Oh, but let's not let's so not open up this fucking. Door, we have man. a whole video on it. We'll have a whole another <laughs> video on it. No, we're gonna have a debate club. A big debate this. club. Once you're done watching both Full Metals. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, but I'm going to try to power through Hang this. in there. You know, uh, I'd say. Yeah, please do. There, there's yeah. definitely a turn and there's definitely a, a thread. It definitely starts following. Uh, Just. Phantom thread? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you, okay. Do you feel yourself struggling right now? I think because he's got be a lot of shit going on. Hold on. Be honest. I mean, a little, a little, it's a little both. <laughs> got a lot of stuff. Right. Got a but lot of But that's not. Life. But that's bullshit. Because if you had a great show, even if there was other stuff, you would be watching that show mainly. I mean, right? You yeah, would be I, like, "This is the show I want to watch. I, this is my main show I want to watch." <laughs> is Full Metal right now your main show? Yes. Because I'm not watching anything else. I thought you're also watching Death Note. Uh, Death Note, watching. yeah. I have to watch Death Note. And Fairy so Tale. you're watching but all of like, these. Which one do you like look forward to watching But it's like he's watching Full Metal most? for himself, Death Note with the wife. 
and right? fairy tales. Like I have shows myself. that I watch with with mine, but there's right. shows that I watch for myself. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So. And and fairy tales made me laugh, so I watched that show. Yeah. Rick, what have you been watching besides fairy tale? Uh, none. Been reading. What you been reading? Warhammer. Uh, just, just finished the Wheel of Time. Oh, how was it? Well, I was telling you guys, remember? I was like, if you guys wanted to join in. I don't in, remember that at all. I don't, yeah, I don't remember that invite. I was no. like, I'm going to start the Eye of the know. World. No if invite. you guys wanted to read along with me. Didn't get remember. that invite. Yep. Would have been I, nice. I, I, mm-hmm. I put it up in the chat. No, I didn't want to read that book for a long time. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess not. Uh, so I finished book one. How was it? It was pretty good. Uh, yeah. I liked it. It was very... Uh, very fellowship, with, um, you know. That's what I've heard in the in the beginning. Because I YouTube did. Did you? Yeah, I really did. <laughs> no, yeah, because I I really did look it up when you sent it. Yeah. I was looking at YouTube and. So yeah, it, it was why. it was very fellowship. Uh, I mean, even to where like you know the ravens or the the spies um, of the dark one or whatever, mm-hmm. kind of like Saruman's spies were with the ravens when they were chasing the. It is a lot of fucking going from village to village but it's pretty cool because the characters um well two of the main characters uh they want to be like bards so one of them's a juggler and the other one plays uh like the flute and stuff like that okay so That's it's kind of gonna... cool to get that interaction of like them having to like try and haggle their way into like staying for free mm-hmm. through their like performing and shit like that it's pretty cool and that's what i was going to ask you was for people who don't know like what's the premise of the book uh okay Briefly, a brief briefly, premise. Bri- briefly, yeah. Um, since the beginning, there's been like uh, the creator and the dark one, uh, yin and yang, basically, right? Light mm-hmm. and dark, and um, the Sorry, there can be me. Oh. <laughs> there. There are two types of uh, magic, which is the light and the dark, mm-hmm. or whatever. Or uh, sorry, two types of magic. Uh, males can wield one, which oh. is stronger. Of course. Females can wield the other one, which is not as strong. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. So uh, the dark one corrupts the male half of the magic. Oh, so freak. any anyone who uses that eventually gets fucking like crazy and uh. would do bad shit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So um, the dark one, in the beginning of the book, he's taunting him and um, tells the dude that he killed his wife and his family. So he blows up. And years happen now. And we're kind of being introduced to this new character, and it's pretty obvious that he's going to be the next dude reborn, and he's going to stop the Dark One. Cool. So it's following their adventure. Okay. May I say something? Go sure. The reason I liked Fairy Tale at the moment is because it seems like an adventure show, like yeah. a lighthearted, like a lighthearted adventure, like a like that kind of because they have guilds, obviously, or yeah. some kind of thing. Uh, where it seems like I'm just going to follow these characters on an adventure and I don't mind following these characters going town to town because they're just going to have fun, do their thing, and do their magic and their yeah. fun fighting mm-hmm. moves. It's like a Pokemon. Uh, sure. Yeah. I, was, I don't know yeah. why I thought of it more like a, like a fantasy okay. oriented. Well, yeah, it's, it's like, I mean, it's a fantasy, right? Like they're using swords and magic and stuff, right? Well, in or fairy no? tale, it's all magic. In, in fairy tale, it's magic. Oh, they don't use weapons. No. Oh, okay. Not, not. Really. I've never seen it. So I've I never know. seen. Fairy it's all. Uh, I've yeah, seen that three episodes in. It's all I'm magic. Like I've seen in. a picture on my Netflix. As I'm, <laughs> I'm like scrolling twenty by. seconds into the first. <laughs> episode. Thirty seconds. Of so 30 far, seconds. Yeah. three three episodes in. It's all okay. magic. Okay. Uh, so it reminded me of a fantasy adventure where it's like these people are just going, doing their thing, having fun here and there, mm-hmm. and that's why I was like, okay, I'm into this because there is no technical, or at the moment, there's no. Uh, there's no arc of the show. Yeah. It's just mm-hmm. we're doing this thing. I'm like, I'm cool. I'm joining this. Yeah. I think Full Metal is that, but like d- definitely a lot more somber and heavier themes and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't seem as fun when we're going to town to town and everyone's sad and mm-hmm. mopey and like, I fixed this for you. And like, thanks. And then that's it. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. I get you. What I liked about this book, though, is that it's, um, it's, it feels like a, a darker fantasy of Lord of the Rings a little mm-hmm. bit. Like not too much where it, yeah, I feel like where Lord of the Rings was more for like kids like uh, preteens or whatever mm-hmm. and like you know wonder and fantasy this is more like a, a little bit edgier just a I would say more teenager a bit more where it's it, it's a little bit darker and cooler cool 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 what about you man um I'm still fucking just knee deep in a lot more Evangelion still ah so you finished the old so one. I had watched the series when I spoke yeah. to y'all right and I was that like okay 
um, I watched the movies, both of them uh-huh. that precede the series. Um, Death and Rebirth, you don't have to watch that one actually, uh, because it's basically just a clip show with a couple of new scenes. But the end of Evangelion is probably where you want to bookend it, the series. Even though it was like two or three years after the series, it definitely concludes the series, but in a different way. And then I started watching the the rebuilds, the the Blu-ray versions. Yeah. Um, and I just watched the, the first one yesterday. Uh, it's about an hour and some-ish. But again, like I said last time, it's the, basically the first six episodes are like retelling. There's still new scenes. Uh, or sometimes there's different uh, it's different like environment but same dialogue mm. you know what I mean like characters having certain dialogue but instead of them being in a certain place they're at a different one okay um, uh, but the animation is fucking stellar dude like it is the animation in that just looks fucking fantastic it's the best thing I've ever seen it is beautiful uh, but uh, overall the story wise so far you like it you like uh, going? yeah yeah this one so I think it's going to start veering off in the next two movies I actually own the next one I don't own the third one so I'm going to probably buy the third you one you said soon. the fourth one comes out next year the fourth one's next year yeah, yeah. and that'll conclude the series um, I also like went into uh, finding out what happened to the studio because I know the, the studio's fucking uh, Gainax had a bunch of issues and I, the stuff I was like geez I never knew this about the actual studio um, but I mean they always had they were always changing different uh, like heads of, or leads let's say uh, at Studio Gynax and different directors and people just leaving all the fucking time and stuff like that eventually uh, after um, which one was it? I think it was after Gurren Lagann that dude went and they made Studio Trigger Okay, and so they took a bunch of their of Gainax with them so Gainax was still there but like that's fucking soul was gone yeah and just read about like what happened to Gainax I was like fuck no wonder dude like it just so the studio's gone so essentially the spirit of the you know like the people who were there to help make Evang- uh, Evangelion um Fully Cooly Gurren Lagan and stuff they went on to make Kill a Kill and uh they're making a new one now it's called Promare I don't know if you've seen the trailer to that it looks fucking cool. I saw it. It's it looks awesome. really cool, man. I saw the first 15 minutes of Fully Cooly. Yeah. And I didn't like it. <laughs> what? I didn't finish it. Yeah. But I don't know why. Like, I was, maybe I was in the mood, but I'm like, this show feels so lazy. It's. In it's, the it's, sense of, like, there was a character and, like, half of the screen was, was drawn and the other half is white. I'm like, mm-hmm. I get that's probably an artistic choice, but yeah, also, it's, it's lazy. It's definitely an artistic it's choice. It's definitely an artistic choice. And then there's a scene where, like, when the girl goes back to the kid's house, and then like the his Haru 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 san. It's the very beginning of the show, so I don't really know. But anyways, he goes goes to his house. Yeah, I think the main character, and then his brother and his dad find out, and there's like ah, and it's like showing the manga. Yeah, yeah. And it's just oh, going the through the manga, and it's going yes. really really fast, and yes. I can't, I cannot keep up with it. It's that show is very very stylistic. It's very erratic. Um, the, the reason for a lot of that was because. Uh, after Evangelion, which like fuck, like had I mean yeah, like any uh, studio, you know, had crunch, had uh, production issues and stuff like that. Matter of fact, Evangelion was written on an episode per episode basis, and they had to wait for the guy, the director, writer of the fucking show to you know be done with writing so that they could start. You know what I mean? So it was mm-hmm. you know it led to some production troubles and shit like that. Um, so the them coming off this super long winded, uh, you know, like hard fucking crunch, like I don't know, like just period of of dealing with Evangelion, they wanted to do something short and fun, and so that's why Fuli Cooly is fucking weird. It's like a different uh, director also and stuff. Um, I think that guy had never done one before. It was some some shit like that. But Fully Cooly was them having fun with their with their animation. Uh, it was supposed to be silly and funny and shit like that, and it's fucking weird or whatever. Uh, and that's why it's fucking short. It's only like what six episodes or something, right? Yeah, four, super short. There's a Fully Cooly two now. Yeah. Uh, yes, not being made by the same team, obviously. Yeah. But they, yeah, they're supposed to be going to do a new one, and uh, I don't know. if It was like two that like it was renewed for two new series or some shit. I don't know. Um, but that's why if you were like, what the fuck am I watching? You you kind of have to know a little bit of that to understand. At least a little bit of like, okay, this is them just being fucking funny and weird or whatever. But 
uh, I think I think that show is fine. It's just it's not going to be. It's, <laughs> it's it's really good. I like it. Uh, but it's uh, yeah. I think for what you saw it as, it's not going to be that. It's this side silly shit. It's just okay. it's fun. Maybe one day. Yeah. This maybe at least now maybe knowing that maybe yeah, you know, yeah. maybe you'll check it out. Helps a bit. Um, but maybe maybe something we'll check out is that Promare uh, movie. I think it's coming out next month. Oh yeah. Yeah. If not September October for sure. You don't say. It's like soon. Um, it's supposed to hit theaters, even U.S. theaters. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we'll, hey, it'll be maybe cool we'll to review is the new My Hero Academia movie in December. Yeah. <gasps> I just realized we can do episode ep- by episode weekly of My Hero Academia. I was, I was talking to him about that, man. Yeah. yeah. That's do you watch definitely it talking or about dubbed? that. Uh, oh, good question. I like it subbed. Cause it comes out sooner too. <laughs> I watch it dubbed. Oh. Rick. I don't remember which way I watch it. I watch it subbed by myself. You know what? <laughs> dubbed with my wife. I think I watch sub. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind. Uh, like I think the characters sound good in dub, and I usually if I'm not no, crazy about they the voice. Actually, actors. you know what? Yes, I was watching dub. Yeah, right? because the <laughs> voice actor who does Midoriya uh, is pretty good. Yeah, you hear his voice and, or whatever. And, I mean, fucking all Chris Sabat is all, all my. All, yeah. the, all my voice is yeah, no, so no, fucking sorry, good, dude. man. No, you're done. Christopher Sabat, you're done. Doing all my. Only because it's so only good. Uh, you're no, done. It's, no, it's good. It's just that subs come out soon. Turn on your mic. <laughs> out. You're done. <laughs> no, I like both. I really do like both. Yeah, yeah. But it's just subs come out sooner. That's all. Oh, okay. Usually, yeah, usually well. like a day or so sooner. That's fine. Maybe I'll watch yeah, both. Okay. We'll, we'll wait a day. We'll see. I'll care. wait a day for Christopher well, Sabat. Well, I guess we're doing our episodes on Fridays, so <laughs> by the time we get the episodes We've been doing out, shit on Fridays every time, so... Uh, um, yeah. But as far as that... That's going to be fun. Yeah. We'll plan that. We'll plan that. We'll plan that. What else you been watching? Nothing much. That's it for today, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming, joining us today. <laughs> Thanks uh, for coming with we us, had, uh, on this journey. Rick. Bleep. And... Frank, <laughs> bleep, <laughs> and your host, you're a, Caleb. You're a terrible host, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> it's good seeing you guys. We love you. Come back next week, next Friday. We'll be here. Maybe not on the channel, but, you know, we'll be recording on Friday probably. It'll be uploaded a day or so earlier, you know. You know let's see what happens. See how it goes. See how it goes. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Don't forget the answer this camera. Because I've jacked off at work.